I wasn't originally planning on making a video about this, but I feel like I need to and I have a lot of things that I want to say. So please watch this video, especially if you're an American. As most of you hopefully know, Brett Kavanaugh's confirmation hearings happened this week. I watched pretty much every second of it. Some of my professors even stopped class so that we could watch it. But I don't want to make this video about my opinions on the hearings because I've already talked about it a lot on social media. But for those of you that aren't following me, I think that Kavanaugh is guilty and I believe Dr. Ford. And I really don't think that Kavanaugh is fit to be a Supreme Court justice, but I think that you should all watch the hearings and make up your mind for yourself. But what I really want to talk about is the impact that I think that millennials have had on all of this. During the last midterm election in 2014, only 17.1% of people between the ages of 18 and 24 voted. And to me, that is shockingly and embarrassingly low. It just shocks me that more than 80% of people my age would give up their right to vote. I personally voted in every single election since I turned 18 and I'm 21 now. But most people I know didn't vote in the primaries in June and they're not planning on voting in November. And whenever I approach non-voters and ask them why they don't vote, Vote, they usually say something like, it doesn't affect me, it doesn't matter, my vote's not going to make a difference. I already posted a video on Tuesday addressing some of those questions, so be sure to check it out if you haven't already. For those of you that don't know, I'm a student in the Journalism and Mass Communication Department at San Jose State University, and pretty much all the classes that I'm taking right now are with Journalism, PR, Advertising, and Communications majors, except for a law class that I'm taking in the Political Science Department, but obviously the people in my law class care a little bit more. I honestly don't think that anyone should be taking that class if they're not voting. Obviously, we we're talking about the hearings in my law class, but it was also discussed in all of my journalism and mass communication classes and a lot of people had strong opinions about it and pretty much everyone was saying that they didn't think that Kavanaugh should be confirmed but when my professors asked them if they had voted in the primaries or were voting in November a lot of them said that they weren't and when my professors asked them who was running for California governor and California senate a lot of them had absolutely no idea they acted like it didn't matter even though our senators are deciding if Kavanaugh is confirmed or not for some reason it seems like for some reason it seems like everyone thinks that the president has all the power and that presidential elections are the most important most of the time your state and local elected officials and members of the US House and Senate have a lot more power than the president. Trump has said a lot of things during his presidency but he hasn't really done all that much damage and we're still doing well here in California because of our own state and local laws. The point I'm trying to make here is that it's important to care and do research and get involved. The Supreme Court can and will make decisions on important issues that will affect your daily life like immigration, gun control, women's rights, equality, and so many other things. Something that I see a lot of young people take for granted is, is their rights and their ability to exist in the world. I go to a school, I go to a school where minorities are the majority. And when I was sitting in my classes this week, I was just thinking about how I would not be in college yet alone alive if it wasn't for the Supreme Court's ruling on Loving versus Virginia. And the same thing, but with different cases could be said about the majority of people in my classes. So many people of color, so many minorities would not have the rights that they do now if it wasn't for the Supreme Court justices and other politicians. It's so shocking as a mixed person to hear other people of color say that they're not voting and that politics doesn't affect them. Them. Sure, maybe it hasn't affected them in their lifetime, but they wouldn't have the rights that they have now if it wasn't for older generations fighting for them. I think that a lot of people my age really don't appreciate how much older generations did for them and how much work that they put in so that we could live the lives that we live now. I'm so grateful for, for everyone who's ever fought for people like me to have rights. The point I'm trying to make here is that politics affects your life, even if you don't think it does. I know that I say this constantly. Please register to vote if you haven't already and please vote. And please vote on November 6th because your vote can change the course of history, especially if the final vote on Kavanaugh's confirmation gets delayed. And if you don't vote and you lose your rights because of Kavanaugh or some other Supreme Court justice or some other elected official, you really shouldn't complain about it. Because when you stay home on election day, you are kind of voting, you are making a statement. You're saying, don't pay attention to me, I don't matter. You don't need to take my opinions into consideration. And if that's what you wanna do and you don't wanna vote, that's your decision to make, but I would strongly advise against it. And if you ever have any questions about voting, feel free to message me and I'll try to help you out. Also, if you live in the Bay Area and you ever wanna go to a town hall or a board meeting or a community meeting, and it's after 5 p.m. and not on a Tuesday, I'll go with you so that you don't have to go alone. I know that it can be pretty intimidating to be the youngest person in the room, so I'll absolutely come with you. I'm not joking. I think that going to these events and seeing these candidates in person and being able to ask them questions and see them debate is really important because you can get answers to your questions and see who these people really are when they're on the spot and they're not able to read off a script. I think that's pretty much everything that I wanted to say in this video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment them down below. Please vote in the selection. Please pay attention to the selection. Please get involved because it's gonna be a really important one because, because lots on the line. Thank you all so much for watching this video and I'll see all of you very soon with a new one. Goodbye.